Hey everyone, this is Alex from warnoffkeys.com and welcome to episode five of my HTML and CSS series. In this video, we're taking a quick look at how to link to different things, whether that's inside of your own website or to an external website. If you ever need help when following one of my videos, you can simply scroll to the description and join the community Discord server. From there, simply click on how to ask for help in the opening channel, and then follow the instructions on how to ask your questions. So to quickly get started, how we link to things is using something called an anchor tag, which is simply just an A tag here. We can have any type of text within the A tag. For example, we can say, click here. But then within the attributes of the A tag is where we specify the important properties, such as where to link to. So for example, I can say href equals, and then here we want to type in an actual website URL. For example, I can add in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash warnoffkeys.com. And if I save this, we see this click here at the top. And if I click on that, we're now navigated to the Warn Off Keys website. So we can go ahead and go back. And so this is how you're going to link to something as an external website. But what if you want this to be opened in a new tab? Well, as a second attribute, we can add in target equals quotes underscore blank. And if I save this and I click on this, this now opens in a completely new tab. But there's one thing you want to keep in mind when you're ever using target equals blank is you always want to include rel equals no referrer. And if I save this, we see no actual change on the functionality. And for those of you who want to learn more about why this is actually needed right here, there's a link to a Stack Overflow question where people are answering that in detail. But if you don't really care about the actual details, just make sure you always include rel equals no referrer whenever you're using target equals blank and you should be good to go. So this is again, how you link to something that is an external website. But what if you have a separate page that you wanna to link to within your own website? So let's go ahead and open up this and let's make a new page. We can call this about.html. And similar to the first video of this series, we're going to generate some basic HTML by pressing exclamation points and pressing enter. Now, the only thing I'm gonna change here is this title. I'm gonna change this to about us. And if I save this, we see no actual change because of course, we're not navigated to there. But if I change this href to forward slash about.html and I save this, I can now click here. And this is going to open our about us page within a new tab because of course, we still have target equals blank here. If I were to remove these two and save it, this link here, will now open in the same tab. This obviously has nothing in it because our about.html has no actual content in the body, but we can tell by the title that this is correct. Now, one more thing I wanna show you is how you link to things within the same page so you can scroll down to certain elements within the page. If we go back to our homepage here. So if we go back to VS Code, I'm gonna add in five different headings here. And as we've learned previously, we can generate these by doing h1 times five and pressing enter and this will generate five headings for us. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, and five. If I save this, we see this here. I'm now gonna bring this console up further so we have more things to scroll through, just so it's more clear that we're actually scrolling down to a target element. So let's say we want this anchor tag that says click here to scroll us down to this fifth element right here. Well, here we can say href equals, and then hashtag target, and you can enter whatever text you want, but it has to match the ID of your target element. So in this case, the bottom H1 tag that has the five, I'm gonna say ID equals target. And if I save this, we see no change, but if I just click right here, it will automatically scroll us down where this five is in view. If I were to scroll up and let's say we change the target to this one here. So I'm going to highlight this and use control X or command X on a Mac. This will go ahead and cut that text. Then I can use control V or command V on a Mac to paste it right here for this attribute. If I save this and I click here, we now see it scrolls us only enough where this target element, which is this top H1, is now within the top of the screen. So beforehand, it scrolled us all the way down because we can't scroll down even further, but if there's more content below, then the five would end up at the top of the screen, similar to how the one does right here. So this is one way you can scroll to specific elements within your website. Thanks for watching the video. If you want access to video source code, as well as early access to future tutorials, 
consider clicking on the join button down below the video to support the channel.